Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. In my previous video, I demonstrated how to use Mini Tools Partition Wizard Pro to recover lost or deleted partitions on storage devices. However, there may be a time where the process does not work. Therefore, as a last ditch effort, you can perform data recovery. Data recovery is a process of salvaging or retrieving inaccessible, lost, corrupted, damaged, or formatted data from internal or external hard disk drives, solid state drives, USB flash drives, CDs, DVDs, RAID subsystems, and so on. Recovery may be required due to physical damage to the storage devices or log logical damage to the filing system that prevents it from being mounted by the host operating system. Of course, there are exceptions to this, such as cases where severe damage to the hard drive platters may have occurred, the logic board failed, the spindle motor malfunctioned, and so forth. These types of problems would require a specialized data recovery facility to attempt data recovery. However, if a hard drive can be repaired and a full image or clone created, then the logical file structure can be rebuilt in most instances. This type of data recovery can cost $250 to over $1,000 to complete and is not guaranteed all the data can be recovered. Now in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to recover the data uh, using the Mini Tools Partition Wizard Pro Ultimate. And this one right here, we're going to use with the disk five. Uh, this one here is I set up. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing on this drive, but there is data on it. Now this is like a formatted drive. Now the data can still be recovered. Uh, this one right here is an eight gigabyte flash card. Uh, it's an SD memory card. This will work on USB flash memory, SD cards, um, other types of memory cards, solid state drives, hard drives, and so forth. Uh, so what we're going to do is go up here to the upper left. Uh, you'll click data recovery. Now, if you have uh, mini tool partition or partition pro, then the, you're going to see this message here because the data recovery option is only available in mini tools partition wizard pro ultimate so if you want to do the data recovery you will need to purchase the uh, ultimate version and you can click here to see a comparison of the different versions once you have partition wizards data recovery open uh, you're going to come to this screen here you have the recovery results uh, this lists any previous recovery scans that you have done uh, if you have one that's already been done but it's not listed here you can list it here or load it here manually down below you see all the partitions that are detected uh, you see the c drive uh, the my passport my g k and all so forth these are all the partitions that have been detected. Uh, this one here is the one we're going to work with. If you scroll down further, you're going to see unallocated space. Uh, this comes in handy if your partition was lost or deleted and you're unable to retrieve it uh, using the partition recovery that I showed in the previous video, then you can still use this option to be able to recover the data from that unallocated space. Down here at the bottom, you also have the hard disks. Uh, this is if you need to scan the entire hard drive and not just a partition. Down here in the lower right, you have settings. If you click settings, this will show you some scan settings. And what this does is it wants to know what kind of filing system that the partition or the drive was using whether it's FAT12, 16, or 32, if it was an NTFS, or if it was from a Mac computer, which used the HFS Plus format system. Now you'll see these other two here, but they're grayed out, and these are referring to um, CDs and DVDs. So you won't be able to use them in this feature, but they do have a standalone mini tools data recovery that can work with these types of disks. 
Here you can choose uh, what you want to search for. Uh, it'll search for documents, archives. Uh, if you click the plus, uh, it will show you additional uh, sub file types that you want to search for. Uh, documents, this shows you a wide range of different types of documents that it will scan for. Uh, you can do graphics, pictures, JPEGs, uh, different type files there. Uh, you can even scan for audio and video files. Uh, as well as emails. Uh, if you're looking for Outlook uh, data or Outlook Express data files, uh, you can have it search for that to help you find your emails. Uh, databases, uh, if you're using like Office Access, then this will help you resolve and search for those types of databases. Uh, other files are like text files, uh, web files, and so forth. So as you can see, it gives you a wide range of things that you want to search for. Now, um, if you're not sure exactly which file format that it was using, you can uncheck these boxes here and it will do what's called a raw scan, whereas it reads data in a raw format. Uh, instead of using like the regular filing system, it reads the data as it's written on the drive. Now, because I'm using the flash drive, most of these are using the 30, FAT32 format. Now, if you're not sure, you can leave all these checked. Now, if you do have any problems, go back, uncheck them, and then rescan it and see if it will do any better. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and I'm gonna choose okay. Now, I'm gonna select the drive that I want to do in this demonstration, and then I'm gonna choose scan. Here, you'll see the uh, progress bar here. It's gonna show you the total number of files it's found. This is showing the estimated time it will take, which in this case it shows about 18 minutes. Once the scan has completed, you're gonna see the following results. Up here, you're gonna see the path. Uh, this shows you uh, the types of files that have been uh, recovered. Uh, you have the one from the existing partition. Uh, if you were to click on the plus sign, you'll see additional information under that category. Uh, for each one, like here, you have more lost files. Raw format refers to uh, reading the raw data that's on the drive. Uh, there's no information about the file name, uh, no information about uh, when it was created or last modified. All it does is tells you that this file existed and this is the type of file that it is. If you click on it, it will show you uh, a name that it was given and it will show you the size of that file. Over here, you have a preview. Now the preview doesn't work with uh, videos or anything like that. If you have pictures, then the preview will allow you to view previews or documents such as text documents. Uh, here it shows you the uh, file name, the size of the file, when it was created, uh, if information for that uh, existed. You'll notice here uh, the icon here, this one here, just plain folder. But here you'll notice that it has an exclamation point on these icons. Uh, even the ones that has been found will have an icon associated to it. If you look down here at the bottom on the legend, this will tell you what kind of file this was discovered as. If it was a deleted file, if it was a lost file, and if it, else, if it was a raw file, meaning that it was read from the raw information on the drive. Uh, this will also indicate if the file was compressed or if it was encrypted. Down here, it shows you the total of data that was found and the number of files that were found, the amount of data that has been selected. Now, up here, uh, you also show different types. And these are all categorized by the type of file that was discovered. You can also click on the tab up here that says type. And this right here will break everything down to types of files that were discovered. Uh, if you were to click on it, audio and video shows there were 39 that was discovered. Of those 39, 15 are MP4s, 12 are ASF, and 12 RWNV. 
and then over here you also have the same results. Now what you could do is you could just double click it and then go to the file type you're looking for and again it will show you all the details about the file that was recovered. If you click on other documents or files, everything related to that type will be listed on the right. Now, if it's the existing information, if there is information about it, then it will tell you the name of the file, the size, the creation date, and the modification date. Now, you can also show, uh, show all the lost files only. Uh, here, it will only show files that are lost. These are files that have no direct access to. Uh, if you're looking for a particular file, now if you click find, you can go down here at the bottom and look for a file name. Uh, you can also match it by the case. Uh, you can match it by the word. And then go over here to the right and choose find. It will list anything within those criteria. Now, if you need to use wildcards, you can. Um, and this will help you find certain files that you're looking for. If you need to use a filter, uh, filtering allows you to filter out all the data that was discovered by either file name or extension. Uh, if you click on this, you can list only the MP3s, the ZIPs, WAVs, MP3s. This will sort everything out according to the file type. Uh, if you're looking for a specific size, uh, you can choose by size from the minimum size to the largest size. Creation, uh, if there is creation dates information, you can also sort it by the date they were created or if they were modified, you can choose the dates. Uh, you can have it show deleted files, the lost files and normal files. Now, if you want to, you can also export the scan results. Uh, if you click on here, you're gonna come up with this window and it's gonna put it in the RSS format. And what this will do is if you want to save this information for later, then you could create a file name and then choose save. And then you can come back at a later time and review those files. Now, if you do decide to come back, then you want to be able to load that information and you wanna make sure the drive that was scanned is plugged into the computer so you can resume where you left off. Now, once you've decided what file you want to save, what you'll do is you'll come over here, locate the file that you're looking for. You have the check boxes here to select the files that you want to recover. Anything that has a check box beside it will be able to use to recover. Now, when you recover these files, you wanna make sure that you are saving these to a safe hard drive. Um, if the hard drive was failing or you had to use the boot media in order to get your computer to load to recover your data, you wanna make sure that you save that data on a different storage media. Do not save it on the same hard drive. Now, once you have selected the files that you wanna save, you just anything that has a check mark in it, or if you want to, you can put a check mark in the uh, folder uh, beside the folder and this will select everything within it then you'll come over here to choose save now because it, this version of here that I have is not the ultimate version you will see this message and if you need to you can go ahead and purchase the upgrade to the partition pro ultimate and then once you save it you'll be able to save all your data to a different device and then you'll be able to access that data. And this is one of the best features about the data recovery that they've added to the mini tool partition wizard. Keep in mind, the partition recovery is for the mini tools partition wizard pro. Uh, if you get the pro ultimate, you get both the partition wizard or the partition recovery and the data recovery options. Well, this has been a presentation by ES Repair. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.